everybody, I'm Brian. Let's go do some woodwork. <laughs> This is an overarm router jig that I built for routing the shelf that the binding goes into on an instrument. And the binding is this wood that goes on the corner. And almost all instruments have it, guitars have it, ukuleles have it. And this will follow the height of the instrument and is virtually weightless. And it can ride on the back of the instrument or the soundboard, depending on which side you're doing and it registers on this curved surface on the side of the instrument so that when you're routing the groove in you can route along a curve and it won't move on you. And if it's a small flat bodied instrument like this one I usually just build up some wood underneath it so that I can spin the body around on a flat surface because this body is straight it does not taper. With a guitar they all taper from end to end and often have domed surfaces. You can build yourself a cradle that'll hold the instrument underneath this. And you set this down, you start the cut, and then as you follow around the instrument, uh, which is held in your cradle, it'll make the cut. Now the important thing here is that all of the weight of the router isn't bearing down on this. And to accomplish that, there's a bungee cord that links up to the top of a K-body clamp, and that's what makes it quite light. I'm just one, one finger, I can move this up and down very easily. And then depending on what size binding and purfling you're going to use, you simply loosen this off, and you can adjust the depth of the cut very simply there, and you can adjust the height of the cut by adjusting the rotor. And it's a simple little jig, it runs on some uh, full extension drawer glides on the inside here which I've attached into a plywood channel and then the router just sits on a little wooden base and it's very simple and very effective and does a good job at milling a square channel in the edge of an instrument. <laughs>